Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming back in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Tarsus, and Carthage is just blasting away over here with his wall artillery. 60, now 70 kills. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at the factions. We will do the defenders first, starting off here with Carthage being commanded by Bearded Warman, one of the four backseat generals. Make sure to check out his content. Uh, then we have a Nabatea here being commanded by Cheese Bissacorn, and then finally in Egypt over there being commanded by Sol Invictus. Out on the attacking side, we have a Rome here being commanded by Willy Sneeze 662262. He has brought seven units of Estadi, five armored legionnaires, two Suki Estadi. General is a Legatus. He also has three Syrian archers, one Balearic Slinger, and a Praetorian cavalry out over there on the flank. Then we have an Arverni here. Ooh, we got some cavalry. Uh, we do have an Arverni here being commanded by Flex Tape, and he has brought seven units of Chosen Swordsmen, six Celtic Warriors, General is an Os1, four Gallic Hunters, one Giant Ballista, and one Celtic Light Horse. And then we do have a Massilia here being commanded by American Duck. American Duck has brought seven units of Thorax Swordsmen, seven Axe Warriors, General is a Pace Lancer, three Gallic Hunters, one Celtic Slinger, and a Giant Ballista. And what's this cavalry we have out over here? We have a unit of the Desert Heavy Lancers of Nabatea. Very cool to see. Uh, Light Horse is pulling back, and the Praetorian Cavalry is pulling back as well. And also, just to show you guys real quick, one of the four Gallic Hunters is way back over here in the back part. This is Tarsus, as I said. Town Center is right up over there, actually. It's on top of the staircase. All right, but that Desert Cav did pull back. Looks like he's going to make his way back inside the settlement. Basilia has moved forward. They have made their wall breaches there. Arverni in the process of making one of his soon here. Close, getting the getting the uh, tortoise up to the wall there. More Arverni. Rome actually has knocked down a wall breach, and he is just plowing headfirst into this settlement. Unit of Estadi right here, taking some javelin volleys from some of the Nabataean Axe Warriors, but here we go. Celtic Warriors charging right on through that breach, getting into the Nabataean Axe Warriors there. So brutality fighting already underway. Guys, make sure to hit the like button for this video. Definitely helps it out as far as getting out onto YouTube. Share the content around. Drop some comments down below. And of course, if you are new, if you like seeing Rome 2 content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Trying to hit that 10,000 subscriber goal for the year of 2022. Already on the way there. 8,300 subscribers, guys. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for the continued support. And uh, welcome to all of the new subscribers who have come in recently. But right, we have a unit of Nabatean heavy archers right there. Looked like they were starting to get some shots into the Roman units. We have a unit of the Hastati pulling away. Bunch more Egyptian units here. We have two units of Galatian swordsmen. We have, oh, some of the armored desert hoplites. Those guys are good. Those guys are good. Artillery shots from Arverni. Is that Arverni? No, no, no. That is Massilia firing straight down the line over here. Looks like he's going to try and clear out some of the infantry that's over here. We actually have a decent amount of infantry. Oh, that was a good shot right there. Carrion Axeman. Oh, good shot into some Desert Levy again. I mean, they're good shots in onto units, but these aren't really good units. Galatian Swordsman, there you go. Okay, but yeah, Carrion Axeman, not really anything to be afraid of. Uh, and yeah, they see the Hestadi coming. They're going to turn right back around. Get away from there. Let's see what's going on back over here. Did that? Uh, I think he pulled back inside. Yeah, that desert heavy cavalry that was for Nabatea has go back inside. Has gone back inside. Uh, Carthage over here with a nice, a little, nice, nice little death pocket right there. Nice little death pocket right here. He's got some Libyan infantry and you of the Gallic warriors there. Some more Nabatean axe warriors. Let's see how these yeah, Celtic warriors not faring very well. Actually losing very, very decisively. Ooh, axe warriors doing a number on them. I wonder if we had some javelin volleys from this other unit, but look at this, Carthage being aggressive. Carthage is sending units out of the settlement here. Gallic warriors and that Libyan infantry charging out into some of the axe warriors of Massilia. Getting right into the fight, but yeah, so far Arverni having a difficult time. Hopefully he gets his archers up here. 
does have one unit getting really close to the settlement. He's got another unit there, another unit over here. So hopefully he does start getting his archers involved in this fight. Uh, Rome. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. 59 Hastati wavering away. But it does look like the attackers are having a good attempt here. They're going to be able to break through here. You do see Arverni has slimmed his unit up. And they're going to walk right through this gap. Beautiful, beautiful job there. Again, more shots coming. Nubian and Bowman there. What were they up to? 59? Yeah, 59. I thought that said 99 for a second there. Uh, some of the Nabatean heavy archers here with 49 kills. Carrying, I'm oh, sorry, that's Galatian Swordsman. We have another unit of Nabatean Axe Warriors making their way forward. Here we go. The ever-dangerous Desert Levy charging it onto a pretty much full unit of Celtic Warriors. That is not going to go well for the Desert Levy. It's really not going to go well for the Desert Levy. Galatian Swordsman now making their way over here. Maybe they're going to try and get some Javelin Volleys. Ooh, eh, reforming the lines. Reforming the lines. But Gallic Hunters here for Arverni starting to get some good shots. Six kills so far. Firing straight into the back of the Desert Levy. I mean, he's, I guess he's just going to try and burn the line down. But I would more than likely be trying to fire into this Galatian Swordsman unit. Because that Celtic Warrior will easily be able to burn through that uh, Desert Levy there. Some shots coming from here. Egypt. Turning his artillery and firing the long bombs down over here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Into some of the chosen swordsmen. Nice. Killing eight on that one. Ooh, that was good. Nine. Okay. This chosen swordsman unit here has only lost one so far. Gallic hunters here. Down ten men so far. They do have 33 kills. So, so far, so good. Do you see Massilia bringing up a lot more of its thorax swordsmen out of the woods there. Is that pretty much everything? Yes. So all of the Massilian factions units have been uh, shown here. We do have four more units of Hastati. All four of these units are still hidden. So pretty good holding back some of his infantry in the uh, in the cover of the woods back there. Does look like Carthage has pulled his units back inside. I don't know how much damage they took. Uh, the Gallic Warriors here, 13 kills down to 105. This unit took some losses as well. Nine, 19 dead. 17 kills for them, so not too bad. Not too bad, but the Axe Warriors now making their way in. Does look like Massili is going to have a bit of a foothold in this side of the settlement here. Wonder if maybe we're going to have any archers here in the center. They're going to be able to start firing across those building tops. Uh, we have some mercenary Cretan archers there. Two units of Cretan archers. Three units of Cretan Ooh! Barely moved out of the way of that. Lucky for them. Very lucky for them. Uh, the Arverni artillery here with 59 kills. Massilia here with 48 so, so far, not too bad of numbers. But this right here, this is more than likely where a lot of death is going to happen. Because on Tarsus, this is usually a, a open highway, or at least an attempted of an open highway, for the attackers to make their way through. But more artillery shots claiming lives. Oh, no. Cretan Archer's losing a lot of men. He's trying to tighten them up against the building there. But that artillery got a really, really good shot. Uh, the Arverni artillery actually still has a really good target. He's going to come in. Four shots. Ooh, clearing into more of those Cretan archers. Just dropping them so quickly. So, so, so quickly. Uh, we do have all three units, though, have just blasted off their quick reload. They're going to try and burn down a unit of the Axe Warriors, I guess. Pretty sure that's where we're firing. But maybe they're firing into the Axe Warriors and maybe some of these chosen swordsmen here as well. Rome pressuring some more. He's got two more units of his Sestati that broke, have come back, charging in onto a unit of Carrying Axemen. It's Carrying Axemen holding the line against two units of Sestati. I don't think that's going to last very long, though. Yeah. Carrying Axemen, not good. Just, just not a really good unit at all. Um, they just... I don't think they're a very good unit. I mean, they have the uh, the precursor with the javelins like the Rayo Spears do, but... Past that, they're, they're, just not, they're just not good. They're just not good. But anyway, let's continue on here. A lot more archer fire coming. Nubian Bowman. I think these heavy archers here were firing as well. Maybe it's these Nubian Bowman. Oh, wait. We're seeing two Nubian Bowman so far. Three Nubian Bowman. So Egypt looking like he did not go for the Cretan archer line at all. Uh, but now Massilia is starting to move some of his heavier units in. He's got three units of Thorax Swordsman. Four units of Thorax Swordsman. Actually, one unit coming straight across, going to charge in onto the flank. Nope, Nabatia did turn, get a bit of a counter charge into that Thorax Swordsman unit, but I think they did, do still suffer the charge bonus as they weren't able to get a full counter charge off. A 
look at those attacking units just flooding through the streets. We actually have cavalry now starting to rumble through. What is that? Oh, that's the light horse. Our Verney light horse going to try and charge in here. Big bad boys coming up here, though. Armored Desert Hoplite's going to try and move up, hold the line. Second unit not looking good. Oh, man. And those uh, Our Verney chosen swordsmen getting in there, getting a good amount of kills. Let's see how the archers are doing still. Gallic Hunters here. 65 kills. Syrian archers have moved forward for Rome. Doesn't look like they fired very much. 14 kills and 6 there. Where's his third unit? Oh, there it is. Right over there. Looks like he's going to fall them back over, try and get them back in touch with the rest of his army. Uh, the hunters here for Massilia. Celtic Slingers and Mercenary Gallic Hunters there. This unit of Gallic Hunters, 34 kills. Another unit right there with 0. So still a decent amount of ammunition left here for the hunters. But oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, there's a Praetorian Cav right there. So we'll see. Maybe these these uh, Desert Heavy Lance... Hey, there's a bird. Look at the bird. Where'd he go? There he is. There's the bird. Birdie. Anyway. So Desert Heavy Cavalry, just give Desert Heavy Lancer. Sorry, going to come out over here. Maybe just give like a little, uh, hey, keep an eye out over here kind of thing for the attackers. Always keep an eye on your uh, on your flanks for your forces. I mean, like I said, he does have the Praetorian Cavalry here. But uh, if there was two units of cavalry on this side... That would be maybe something a little bit for worry. Uh, but he has brought it. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's the Lake of the General. What is he doing? Just kind of rumbling around back here. Maybe he's going to hide back in the woods. Uh, but he did show the rest of his army legionnaires here. So Rome has shown all of his forces. Good stuff there. Back inside the settlement. The, yeah, these armored desert hoplites getting murdered. Syrian archers getting some really good shots in onto the flank there. Artillery still firing. 185 kills now for the Ballista there for uh, Arverni. 239 for the Massilian Artillery. My God. They are getting absolutely bombarded. I thought Carthage was doing good in the beginning with his 70, but now seeing this. Oh, man. 249, almost 250 kills there. 185 there. Wow. Really, really good job. With the attacking artillery pieces. All right, here we go. Look at this. Got some Galatian swordsmen, some Iberian swordsmen firing in onto these Chosens as they're making their way forward. Again, breaking through yet another unit of the Armored Desert Hoplites. And Abitian Hoplites not faring very well. They were able to get broken through pretty easily. Chosen swordsmen here, 183 kills. This unit here with 174, but they are eating javelins, murder sticks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh. Broken. Routed. They're just going to stand there. Oh, yeah. Keep. Oh. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. That definitely hurt. All right. Let's see how Rome's doing over here. He's actually getting a lot of his units fired at. Uh, he's got one unit of Assyrian archers in here. Two units. No, just one. That's a Gallic Hunter there. Where's his other units? Did they... There's... Okay. He pulled them away. Going to get them to safety. Not a bad idea. Uh, but these Syrian archers are definitely taking some damage. 66 kills so far. We actually have a unit of Hastati have now broken away from the archers, leaving these archers wide open to plenty of volleys from the defending archers. That is exactly what they are doing. 102 there for the Nabataean heavy archers. We have 32 for some of the Nubian bowmen. Uh, zero unit. Okay, so this unit still has full ammo, and this unit here with 15 kills. Firing now up onto the walls. Are they firing at the Hastati, or are they still all just firing? Yeah, no, they're just murdering this, uh, this Syrian archer unit. That is pretty painful. Oh God, that is pretty painful. Let's 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 zoom in here for. Look at that guy. He's got an arrow in each shoulder. Still drawing his bow. Let's see. Is this guy going to live? Another shot in his leg. This dude is a beast. Wow. Oh, okay. Now he's dead. But oh, God, more shots in the back. In the back, Captain. Yes, in the back. All right, back over here. Carthage actually starting to hold the line. Axe Warriors being removed. I think that was a Korak Swordsman unit that just broke, or was that just the Axe Warriors here? Yeah, it looks like it was just the Axe Warriors. Thorax Swordsman here for Massilia taking on a Axe Warrior and a Libyan Infantry. Libyan Infantry still trying to hold the line in their shield wall. 88 kills, now 89. Nabateen Axe Warriors with 13, and this unit of Thorax Swordsman here with 75. Ooh, we got some Carthaginian Light Horse, or Iberian Cavalry, sorry. Iberian Cavalry out over here. Looks like maybe they were going to try and get around, but the Hippias Lancer said no. Hippias Lancer General said no, nope, not at all. Not today, Junior. Not today. But all right, here we go. 
starting to press up through the center here. We have a unit of Chosen Swordsman that has just murderously charged into some Iberian Swordsman and two units of Galatian Swordsman. Unit of Thorax Swordsman now for Basilia making their way in as well. So, so far, good teamwork by both sides, attackers and defenders, I would say. They have done a pretty solid job watching each other's backs as far as infantry is concerned, or ranged units, archer fire, stuff like that. So, so far, really, really good, top-notch. Thumbs up, two thumbs up so far. I don't know if you guys just saw that there, but one of these Galatian swordsmen took a javelin through the back of his head and it went through his eye socket. I don't know if you saw that or not. Ow! 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 That, that probably really hurt. That probably really, really, really hurt a lot. Uh, Carthage line over here, Libyan infantry, 107 kills, not too bad, but they are wavering away. So it's going to be left here for the Navitian Axe Warriors to try and pull back against these Thorax. You actually have a unit of Gallic Hunters are charging into melee. 130, 142 kills for them. Pretty solid job. And look at this. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. Carthage is actually pressing out on the flank of Massilia. Two units of Gallic uh, Warriors here. We also have two units of Libyan Infantry along with that Light Horse is still out here. The Iberian Cavalry still outside of the settlement. He's got one unit of his Balearic Slingers up on the wall here. I wonder if they were trying to get any shots down. But Massilia better watch his back over here. He's got four units of infantry come out. He could easily surround one, one of these units, yeah. He charges this unit in here. These Iberians could come around this way. I'm sorry, these Gallic warriors could come around the backside, surround these, uh, these Thorax swordsmen there. But Thorax are losing quickly, very, very, very quickly. Libyan infantry on this side doing a pretty good job so far. Pretty even, actually, 153 to 155. So pretty even fight so far, but yeah, these Thorax Swords are not looking good. Not looking good. The Libyan Infantry getting around the flank, starting to press in on the rear of this Thorax Swordsman unit line. That is rough looking. Here we go. We've got some of the uh, Praetorian Cavalry now making their way over here for Rome again. Really good teamwork. Really, really good teamwork. A lot of infantry coming back out. Axe Warriors making their way out. Libby, ooh, Iberian Cavalry looked like maybe he was going to try and cycle around to try and get into the back of that Thorax Swordsman unit. But again, Thorax Swordsman are starting to lose. He was able, to, Carthage was able to get that one Gallic Warrior unit up and around to dig into the back. But this is going to be a problem here. That is definitely going to be a problem for the Gallic Warriors taking some javelins. He's going to pull them off and have them charge right into these Gallic Warrior unit that's making, I'm sorry, Celtic Warrior unit that's making their way forward. Torian Cavalry, Light Horse now making their way over here. We also do have the Hippias Lancer General still hanging out over on that side. Back, back See how we're doing over here. Hastati starting to pull back away. Looks like they were going to try and make their way forward. Uh, but we do have some Galatian Swordsmen charging in after them. Arrow Tower still very much under control of the defenders. So yeah, he's going to want to try and get out of the range of that Arrow Tower at least. In the center here, we are not in the center. More on the left, we have another unit of the Auxiliary Syrian Archers have made their way forward getting shots in, and the attackers making a pretty good progress so far. I would have to say they're making some pretty good progress. We actually have a unit of the Celtic Slingers. Four Massilia have moved up, chasing away the Nabataean Heavy Archers. I wonder if these guys are out. 196. That unit has their swords out. That's out. 80 and 40. So Massilia doing a good job firing at least, firing at the units that still have ammunition there. Uh, with the other unit of the Nabataean Heavy Archers here with 102 kills. Not sure if they're out of ammo, if they're maybe they're... No, they are in melee, so they must be out of ammo. Okay. All right. But yeah, look at the defense. Armored Desert Hoplites, Thorax, Swordsman still holding the line. Carthage here with an Iberian Swordsman unit taking on some of the chosen Swordsman of Arverni. Carrying Axemen up in the mix and another unit of the Armored Desert Hoplites. So I'm pretty sure that's four units of Armored Desert Hoplites we've seen at this point for Nabatea. Let's see how we're doing back over here. Oh, Carthage was defeated. We got the Praetorian Cavalry now coming in. 
charging in onto the... Oh, God. Yep, good amount of damage. It looks like maybe they killed eight on that. I'm not sure. But uh, Libyan Infantry did turn around, charged right into that Praetorian Cavalry. Oh, he brought the Balearics down. Where did they go? Where'd the Balearics go? Are they dead? Oh, they got broken. Oh. Might have been a little bit better of an idea to leave them over here. He might have been able to get some really good shots in onto that cavalry. I think the Light Horse, yeah, Light Horse suffered almost half the unit. And the Praetorian Cavalry taking a decent amount of damage as well, losing about half of their unit too. So very nicely done there by Carthage, fending off both units of those cavalry. Uh, still more pressure coming in on this side from Massilia on the uh, southwest or west side of the settlement, I guess you could say. Axe Warriors charging on into some of the Galatian Royal Guard. Ooh, that. Pretty sure that's going to spell uh, instant death for those Axe Warriors. But again, another unit of Thorax Swordsmen charging in. Beating up unit of Thorax Swordsmen. But Thorax, nonetheless, going to continue trying to hold this line here. Carthage was able to get his units back inside the settlement. Very good show there. Uh, back over on the other side, we do have the Desert Heavy Lancers starting to make their way around. Wonder where they're going to maybe try and sneak in. We do have the Osworn General, so Arverni pretty much has gotten his entire army inside the settlement. Osworn finally getting in there, and we do also have the Gallic Hunter unit getting inside the settlement as well. Uh, general for Rome, the Legatus General pulling away. This could be something, but I mean, all Rome really has to do is just get his archers inside and keep some of his infantry back over here just to keep an eye on these breach points. We wouldn't really have very much to worry about. One unit of the Thorax Swordsman outside. We see the Carthaginian General, General's Bodyguard. We also have a Rakem Palace Guard General for Nabatea making his way forward. Wow. The defenders are not willing to give this up. A couple more units of Thorax Swordsman there. Nubian Bowman, 144 kills. But look over here. Rome is trying to do some pressure, trying to make some pressure over here. But what is... Oh, Oh, that's a... Oh, I thought that was a... Whoo, I was going to say. I thought that was a Nabatea unit up there just volleying down into these Hestati. But luckily for him, it is one of his own Hestati just tossing their javelins down. Doing a great job. Really doing a fire job so far. Uh, back over here, we have a unit of the Levi Thoreo Spears. Some more Galatian swordsmen there. Rome making some pretty good pressure. Starting to throw units over here. He's going to try and neutralize up this tower. Maybe even capture it. Depending on how far out uh, Egypt pulls here, it does look like he's pulling out of the circle. So Rome is going to have the opportunity to really take this tower. And hopefully Egypt gets back in there. Hopefully he doesn't just give this tower to Rome because that would not be good. Yeah, just move up a little bit further. Just get the unit in there to block the full capture of the tower. Perfect. Right there. They don't have to move any further. Nope, nope. He's moving them further. He's pushing them up. Neutralize the the uh, to tower here, charging back in onto the Hestati Galician swords. 148 against a very low number of Hestati there. Yeah, 55 men for the Hestati. They're actually getting some assistance here. Looks like some Nubian bowmen are firing in onto the back of that Hestati unit as well. I'm hearing some cavalry? Did I? Was I just hearing cavalry rumbling around? I thought I heard cavalry moving. No. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was the Carthage general just making his way over here. That is possible. Back out over here, though, the Nabatee Cavalry has been caught out. But the Praetorian Cavalry and the Legatus General both uh, taking a little bit of damage as well. The Legatus General down to 39, and as we did see, the Praetorian Cavalry on the other side, they're getting absolutely shot down by the Carthage Archers. Uh, he's already less than half with only 24 kills. Now, the only downside for the Heavy Lancers over here is that they may have the numbers... Their melee defense and armor are not very good because they are a very heavy shot cavalry. So it's possible that both of these units could win. It's possible, but the general's starting to not look very good. Jory cavalry is starting to not look very good. So far, Desert Heavy Lancer is holding this fight. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Actually, starting to see a unit of armored legionnaires making their way back. Again, if I was Rome, I'd get in there, man. Just get in there. Ooh, have a Lancer General over here? All right. All right, we have a unit of armored legionnaires already inside the settlement as well. Four kills, one loss. Currently taking on some of the Levi Thoreo Spears. That Galatian swordsman unit was absolutely victorious, pushing back these Hastati. So very nicely done. 
starting to capture back up this tower. Oh, they, yes, they are. They are capturing up that tower again, which is going to definitely help them as far as the defense is concerned. But look here, Axe Warriors. I don't know how they got over there, but they do have a unit of Axe Warriors just getting completely... Okay, well, they're gone. They did get into some of the Nubian Bowmen there, but 166 kills. More than likely not a whole ton of ammunition left for them. Uh, back out over here. Looks like the Roman Cavalry are trying to pull away. They were starting to win. Heavy Lancers here down to 47 men left. The Armored Legionnaires really getting close over here. General down to 21 men, but I think the General is still alive. Ooh, Pela. Pela, Pela, Pela. Yeah, Desert Levy Lancer is trying to pull away here, but still just being very much harassed. Very, very, very much harassed here by the General and the Praetorian Cavalry, but he is going to get away. 34 kills, 31 men left in the unit. Not the greatest of kill-death ratio, but we got pipes. I saw them coming up. I saw both units coming up. I just wanted to keep an eye out what was going on with that cavalry over there. But we got African pikemen, and you can see, look at this. The Iberian swordsmen pulling back, the Libyan infantry pulling back, as we will not have any stacked units here. African pikemen holding the front line, flank being covered by another unit of the armored desert hoplites. Wow. Very, very nicely done. What is this, another armored desert? It is another armored desert hoplite, and the pikes now pressing in. Almost 50 kills for that unit, 21 kills for the other. Armored desert hoplites coming around. Are they going to try and rear? Nope, they're going to charge right in onto this Celtic warrior front line. Is he? Is he? Or is he just going to hold up? Or maybe he's just going to move forward and hold up. But yeah, this Massilian line and Arverni line getting chewed up. 65 kills now for this African Pikeman unit. This unit here with 42. The uh, Armored Desert Hoplite's actually charging out. Going to continue trying to pressure the front line of the Arverni forces. But a lot of archer fire now coming in. We have the auxiliary Syrian, arch uh, Syrian hunters right there. Four Syrian archers. Wow, Syrian hunters. That would be insane. Uh, Syrian archers here firing away for Rome into the side of this Armored Desert Hoplite. Not too bad. Let's see how we're doing over here. Does look like Carthage and Egypt and a little bit of Nabataea were successful in their defense over here. So very nicely done to this point. Uh, it does look like Massilia is pretty much gone. I think he is gone. I don't even see his general anymore. Yeah, Massilia appears to be gone. So we have a bit of a 2v3 now for the attacker side. I wonder if Massilia might have pressed just a little bit too hard in this center. He did lose a decent amount of troops over here, though. Definitely lost a decent amount of troops over on this side. Carthage did a fantastic job holding back against Massilia. But here we go. Armored dead, armored Legionnaires charging over here. Libyan infantry going to try and charge out. At least give them a little bit of a fight before those Libyans are gone. That Libyan infantry is not going to hold for very long against these armored Legionnaires. Just unit size alone, for starters, the unit size alone. They were already at like 70 men. The Armored Legionnaires was pretty much a full unit, but oh boy. If you could ask for a unit to come up and reinforce you, the Chem Palace Guard is definitely a good one to shout for. Armor 115. Now the downside is that this is the Nabataean General. So hopefully he doesn't take any shots, but I don't really know how much ammo the attackers still have left. Let's see if we can see that. Uh, Syrian Archers, 81. Got some Gallic Hunters here with 13 kills. Another Gallic Hunter there with 57. I'm not really seeing a lot of range. Oh, wait, no, we have another Syrian Archer right there with seven kills, so he should definitely still have some ammunition left to go. Uh, Africa Pikemen have moved back over here. 80 kills for that unit, 80 kills for that unit. Wow, very even, very, very even, and we have a pause. We actually have a pause here. The attackers have slown up. The attackers have stopped. What is that firing? Way over, what was that? What was that? Oh, here? Is it these guys? No. Oh, it's the Nubian Bowman there firing into the Syrians. I saw the massive volley go over there. I just wasn't sure who was shooting at them. But all right, we got more of the armored legionnaires making their way in. Praetorian Cavalry still alive there. Ooh, actually, Desert Lancers are still around. Are you just going to come over here and get some kills? Get some free kills on some Celtic warriors? Or maybe he's going to try and hit that general. That could be big. That could be big if he takes out the Roman general. What is fire? Is that the scorpion? It is. 
It's the scorpion on top of the tower firing. They're missing. Horribly. Absolutely horribly. But yeah, there's heavy lancers making their way over here. I think he's just going to plow right into the side. Or rear. Yeah, rear of this Celtic warrior. Just get himself some more kills. 34 so far. Come on, get that charge. Nope. Okay, he's not charging there. Where is he going? I hope he's not going to try and come over here. So there's an Osworn general standing right there. Hopefully, Arverni sees this. Rome, get inside. Arverni, get inside. Here comes the Roman general going to come around, try and knock these guys, or at least lock them in, but nope. He got into them. Wow, he got into them. Osworn general. Osworn general could easily turn around and stop that from happening. Oh, God. Well, there goes some ammo. Gallic Hunter unit on their way out. 57 kills. They may end up surviving. They might be able to reform and come back. Uh, but Rome was able to get his unit of Balerics inside the settlement. Let's see what we're looking at here front line wise. Yes, yeah, still just a big stall. Big stall out of the battle. We have the Armored Legionnaires starting to toss their Pelum into this unit of Armored Hoplites. But look at this. 107 for that unit. 202 for this unit. Wow, guys. Armored Desert Hoplites. Really good. They can hold for a long time. Really, really solid unit there. Uh, the Rakem Palace Guard moved up. Now he's going to have to deal... He's going to have to deal with two Armored Legionnaires or just one? Just one for the moment. Do have some of the African Pike in there behind the uh, General there for Carthage. But they're starting to take some shots. They are taking some damage. Definitely want to keep an eye on that. Don't want to just lose them. Don't want to just lose a full unit of the... Uh, African pikemen there. Libyan infantry still just hanging out up on the wall here. 102 kills for them. Do have an axe warrior unit on their way out, wavering away. 103, probably because the general's there. The general's keeping them alive or keeping them from routing away completely. Uh, but all right, back over here in the middle. Armored legionnaires and the Celtic warriors have charged forward. Armored legionnaires should be able to cut through these dungeon hoplites pretty solidly. Uh, back over here, the attack or any sort of an assault that was going up this way has stopped, and I don't. I don't I don't blame him for stopping. I mean the amount of dead that is over in this area. That's insane. Nice little carpet right there. Pretty good. What is this charging in here? Galatian Royal Guard charging forward, fainting the charge? I think that was a faint. Yeah, he charged in and stopped. Maybe they threw their javelins. 283 on the Galatian Royal Guard. Very nicely done. Armored Arn Hop Armored. There we go. Armored Hoplite still holding the line. But we do have the Celtic Warriors still firing away or no, no, no. Nope, that's not the, uh, that's the Slingers. Balearic Slingers whittling this unit of the Desert, Hopoli Ho Desert Hoplites down. Hoplites? Hoplites? No, Hoplites. There we go. Yeah, they are getting dwindled down, and we do have an Armored Legionnaire who's just charged in onto this other unit there. Let's see how we're looking. Rakem Palace Guard General down to 97 men. Archer fire again. Is that the Syrians? Who's firing that? It's not the Galax. Is it this unit of Syrians? Oh, maybe it's these guys. Yep, they're firing over there into the general. Not getting the greatest of shots, though. They might be getting some friendly fire. I mean, they're doing what they're doing the damage. They're doing what they need to do. They're getting kills on the general, helping these units try and break through here. We actually had the Navateen Axe Warriors that were sitting up on the front corner here actually came down, maybe tried to get a rear charge into those armored legionnaires, but it does not look like it worked very much. Uh... African pikemen setting up their line again. Ooh, they almost did the, the pikemen dance there. That was close. That was very, very close. Pushing them in. Hopefully, maybe the, that's going to give the Rakem Palace Guard the opportunity to back out. That is possible, but look at Rome. The Stadi on the wall going after these uh, Libyan infantry. Libyan infantry going to fall back away from Hastadi. Hopefully this the this, uh, Rakem Palace Guard General gets out of there, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two units of Syrians. Oh, no, that's Balerix. Balerix making their way over here. Maybe they're going to try and get some shots. I mean, it might not. Oh, actually, never mind. What is going on? Pikes. The Pikes. They're being weird. Oh, no. Look at that Pike line. All just jumbled over there in the corner. That right there, guys, that shot right there that you're seeing on your screen is one of the main reasons why I hate using pikes. Because sometimes 
they do that dumb stuff. And yeah, that's 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 one of the very frustrating parts as far as when I've used pikes. That is a very frustrating part. Speaking of pikes though, Carthage has brought up his second unit over here, 99 kills for them. And it looks like the defenders are actually pressing out. Armored Hoplites charging into this unit of Celtic Warriors. Pikes are pressing in onto this Armored Legionnaire unit as well. I wonder how wise that is because the attackers do still have both of these towers giving them assistance as far as uh, range shots goes. So maybe the defenders shouldn't really be pressing out that hard. Maybe they should just kind of hold the area. Might not be a terrible idea. About 11 minutes left in the battle and look at this. Armored Legionnaires retreating away. Pikes over here, 148. Libyan Infantry 117 and the Chem Palace Guard General still holding on 63 kills. But we do have some of the Balearics over here. Balearics and the Armored Legionnaires tossing their javelins. Balearics firing away onto that African Piking unit. Here comes another Roman unit. Armored Legionnaires, I wonder if that's the unit. Where'd that come? Where'd they come from? I don't even know where they came from. But uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, the defenders pushed out too far. This is about to become a problem. This is about to become a huge problem because Rome is just going to charge in here, get onto the flanks of all of this infantry. The Chem Palace Guard General is going to try and charge, but uh oh no, Rome's behind now. Rome is in behind the defenders. What else is over here for Rome? Anything? Nothing. I mean, there's Celtic Light Cav right there. They might be able to do nothing. Never mind, there's Galatian Rome. No, the Sword Swordsman, okay. It's just regular Thorax Swords. 137 kills, only lost three men. Woohoo! But there goes that Rakem Palace Guard General. He is on the way out. I think that's going to be a massive blow to the remaining Nabataean forces. He is dead. He is dead. This Armored Legionnaire needs to go. There they go. Good charge. Ooh, good javelin, bro. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Cavalry over here again, charging in onto the backs of the African pikemen. 173 kills for the pikes, not too bad at all. Libyan infantry there with 128, but yeah. Actually, wait a second. What? Charge! Charge! Libyan infantry. Go in there. Break these boys. These pikes are almost on their way out. Rome is really starting to do a good job over here, pressuring, bringing in the Praetorian cavalry again. Looks like the Praetorian Cavalry is trying to make their way through here. But here we go. Carthage coming back onto his forces. Going to try and collapse back in onto this Armored Legionnaire unit. They have stopped, though. Iberian Swordsman and a Gallic Warrior there. Let's see what's going on outside here. Big push out by the defenders. Galician Royal Guard, Nubian Bowman. We have the Osworn General currently being helped by a unit of Chosen Swordsmen there. Rome actually retreating an Armored Legionnaire away. I wonder if he's just going to let the Chosen Swords do whatever kind of damage they can. Carthage General now peeling out over here. Wow. This is a pretty pretty complex battle. Pretty crazy battle, I have to say. Africa Pikemen still holding on somehow. They've been recharged so many times and they're still holding on. 208 kills for that unit. The other unit is gone. Yeah, the other unit has been gone. Uh, we have the Carthage General who has now come out of the settlement. Coming around, looks like he's going to try and rear charge it onto the back of these Roman troops. Big charge there. Praetorian Cavalry on their way out now. Some more of the Hestadi coming back from retreating. Wow, big. That was huge. He only got six kills, but that was big. Coming over there, showing the presence. Roman General on his way out. Victorian Cavalry has already broken. Armored Legionnaires here on their way out as well. Wow. Let's see how this Galatian Royal Guard is doing here. 77, 80 kills. Taking on two units right now. He's taking on a unit of Chosen Swordsman and an Armored Legionnaire. I think that was the Armored Legionnaire that pulled back to that gate initially. Looks like he did charge them back in there. Rome still trying to hold on to this uh, front tower. So far, they're doing a pretty good job. Oswan General, not even fighting. He's just standing there. Fight. You're fighting archers. Charge them. Ch charge the archers. Please charge the archers. Murder them. Could completely and totally murder them. 
What else do we have coming back out over here? Some more Galatian swordsmen there. Nubian bowmen and a... Oh, a carried X-Men general. Okay, so I'm going to say one good thing about carrying Axemen. There's not a whole lot of good things to say about them, but I'm going to say one good thing about carrying Axemen. If you use a carrying Axemen as a general, that will allow you to fund your the base of your army better. And there you go. That's about it. That, that's what I got for you as far as uh, carrying Axemen with a, being a general unit. Aside of the fact that they have the precursor javelin ability like the Rayos. That's that's really that, that's the, the claim to fame of the uh, carrying Axemen here. They're just, they're just not good. They're just not good. I'm wondering what is going on here with this Osworn, though. He's not attacking. He's just standing here. Again, another unit, Galician Swordsman. He could break right through them. Are his Chosen's even really moving? Yeah, I mean, they're here. 39 of them left over there. Got some more over on this side, taking on a Galician Royal Guard. But, I mean, this Osworn... I would say that this Osworn, if he attacked and used his headhunt, he would be able to clear out this whole side right here. Galatian Royal Guard down to 46 men. 370 kills, though. My God. Wow. Oh, but yeah, this Osworn's got to get engaged. This Osworn General really needs to get engaged, really needs to start doing something now. What is this? Dorak Swordsman back there. Okay. Now, this Osworn General's got to move. I know, I, I know I'm saying it a lot, but he's not attacking. He's not attacking. His unit's just standing here. You can see how many men are not fighting. Look at them. No. Oh, Sworn, come on. All right, well, let's check this corner over here, see what Carthage has done to the Roman force. Uh, big fight still going on over here, though. I thought that Rome was going to be gone. Army Legionnaires here, 190 kills, doing a pretty good gen, uh, job. The General is dead, though. And, yeah, I think this last unit of Army Legionnaires here, or second to last unit of Army Legionnaires, are going to be cut away here very, very soon. Carthage General, 155 kills. Going to go get himself some mole kills. Going to go snatch him up some Gallic Hunter Souls. They have ammo. Did, the, did Arverni DC? Maybe Arverni DC'd. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this Celtic warrior unit's been standing here for a while. It's 48 men. I think he DC'd. Oh, uh, what's going on over here? We got Rome starting to break that thorax. Can he break this uh, Libyan infantry unit as well, I wonder? 81 men left in the unit. 200 kills there. Osworn, 96 kills. Got flank charged by a Galatian Royal Guard, taking on a second. So two Galatian Royal Guard over here. One of them still has a decent amount, 130 men in the unit. But the Osworn, without even fighting, breaking 100 kills. That's what I'm saying. He didn't even charge them in, and they have over 100 kills. They're, you, they're not but the unit's losing now. Oh. Oh, God. Here comes Carthage again. Going to come murder him some more. Celtic Warriors, did he kill this unit too? He did. So yeah, Carthage just padding stats, padding kills. Rear charge the Celtic Warriors. There they go. Bye-bye. Again, what's he at? 250 kills with his general now. But yeah, this is over. Arverni's not doing anything. Rome is really the only one that's still fighting. His armored legionnaires over here with 28 kills. Or 28 men left. I think the, the reason why... Hopefully, we'll see. I wonder if this is why the battle's going to be another three minutes. Is this Osworn general is just going to hold on for that long? It's possible, but I, I don't know. I don't know, because the attackers don't have anything left. It is a shame that this Osworn General was not able to be used. Again, I'm wondering, so if anybody who watches this replay, if you guys were in this fight, uh, did Arverni DC? Because he hasn't done anything. I would say for the last several minutes uh, of the end of this battle, he really didn't do anything. Yeah, okay, so it does look like Osworn are going to be able to be the one that holds out for the final minute 50 Carthage sending units over here now as well. Going to try and take out this Osworn General. General for Carthage charging in. Trying to get more kills. 268 for him. But we're getting under a minute here now. And I'm just going to quickly show. I'm going to put it on regular fast forward here. I'm just going to show the, the carpets of bodies that always, 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 always happen in the settlement of Tarsus. Very, very beautiful sight to see. This road usually 
Yep, pretty much looks like that every battle. Uh, in the middle here is actually not as much as I thought there was going to be. There's probably a lot more on the sides. Uh, but yeah, this is usually a, just a huge pile of bodies. But costly enemy victories. Defenders were able to hold out. Let us take a look at sent in by American Duck, who was playing as Basilia. So, dude, thank you very much for sending it in. 1,810 kills for him. 160 with his general. 250 with his ballista. Very nicely done there. Uh, two of his Gallic Hunters did pretty good. 163, 143. Axe has got completely trashed. One unit there with 126. But the rest of them pretty much just got murdered. And his Thorax Swordsman, one unit there with 170. The next closest was uh, 90 here for, for that unit of Thorax. Getting in with Rome here. Willie Sneeze, 62262. 2,030 kills. 37 with his General Praetorian Cavalry there with 65. Uh, Archers, one unit, 142. This unit here with 94. Slingers, 95 kills. Not bad. Army Legionnaires, 220, 182, 168, 219, 177. Astati, 114, 122. Not too bad. One of the Soki here with 69. Giggity, you win. And then we have Flex Tape playing as our Verney. 2,704 kills. Um, again, I mean, the Osborne didn't even really attack. Still got 246 kills. Very nicely done there. His Ballista, 186. Celtic Light Horse, hey, 69. Giggity, another one. Uh, Calic Warriors here with, I'm oh, sorry, Gallic Hunters, 120 kills. He had a Gallic Hunter that didn't even get involved. That was the one that was on the other side of the settlement. Did not even get involved. That is rough. Uh, some of his Celtic Warriors here, though, 183, 137, 129, 147. Chosen Swordsman, 188, 201, 147. Oh, sorry, 174, 218, 174, and 287. So very nicely done there. Bearded War Man heading up the defenders, playing as Carthage, 2,518 kills, third most kills in the match, 268 with his general. Uh, hunters, or his archers here, I should say, 152, 128, 144. Both of his spikes did very well, 203, 280. Libyan infantry, 107, 134, 164, 143, and 201. Very nicely done there. Uh, his Gallic warriors, not doing well. Actually, one unit there, 186. Iberian swordsman here, one unit with 173. And we have Cheese Bissacorn, 1606. General with 68 kills. His Desert Heavy Lancers here with 194. Archers, 197, 102, 97. Pretty good there. Desert Hoplites, they did great. 158, 208. I mean, the four units they held. I mean, there was the one unit that got killed. Yeah, I think it was this unit that got killed pretty quickly. But these two units right there definitely did their job. Paid for themselves. Uh, Desert Levy, not very much. Axe Warriors, 104, 98. Yeah, kind of drops off there at the end. And then we have Sol Vicus here, Sol Invictus, sorry, uh, playing as Egypt, second most kills in the game, 2,687. Carrying Axman General, 82 kills. Nubian Bowman, 121, 174, 226 with a Nubian Bowman. That's crazy. Again, speaking of crazy, Galatian Royal Guard, 425, 3, 314. Great job there. Uh, Galatian Swords, 122, 114, 126. Other carrying axemen, actually carrying axemen, 182, 185 kills, uh, 125 kills. Wow, I was looking at the eight there. Carrying axemen actually didn't do terrible. I'm kind of shocked. I feel like I'm kind of eating my words a little bit. Uh, his Thorax Swordsman, though, again, 192, 142. Great job. Really solid job. Fun battle to watch again. I'm wondering if our Verney broke, though. But all right, guys, there you go. Ended the battle replay here for today. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Again, make sure to check out Bearded, Ellington, Gorm, the three general, the, the three other backseat generals, links. For their channels are in the description below make sure to check out all of the links down there also hit the like button for the video share it around drop some comments and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new looking to hit that 10k subscriber goal or more for the year of 2022 but all right that is going to be the end have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one